I just stumbled upon an AI tool called Runway that has a lot of amazing capabilities. Now, one feature in particular really caught my eye and it was the text to color grading feature. It's crazy. You basically just describe the color grade you're looking for and it automatically creates it. You can save it as a LUT and apply it to all of your clips later. So this is a huge game changer. AI is not on its way. AI is here and it's here to stay. So it's time for us editors to adapt or get left in the dust. So let me show you this feature because I think it might blow your mind. So if we go to runwayml.com, we can look at all the AI magic tools. We've got Gen 1 video to video. We've got text to image, which has been very popular online lately. We've even got simple things that we can do, like remove the background. But what we're looking for today is text to color grade. Now we can import our own footage or we can work with some demo assets, which is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna use this street portrait. Now, if we play it, it's a pretty simple clip. It looks like it could already have a little color grade on there, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the fact that we can add prompts and we will get in real time a color grade. So obviously that looks terrible, but let me try it with a few prompts that I have here that I think are gonna work well. So the first one's going to be James Bond black and white style color grade. And if we hit generate, we get an instant color grade based on our prompt. So that's super cool. Let's try it with a couple other ones. So we're gonna say, add the color from the movie Titanic. We'll hit generate and instantly we will get a color grade based on what AI thinks the movie Titanic looked like. And even for reference, we're pretty close. Let's try the matrix style color grade this time. We'll hit generate. All right, that's looking good, but it's not green enough. So I'm gonna add to the prompt plus green tones and hit generate again. And voila, we've got the matrix color grade. Pretty freaking cool if you ask me. So we can also toggle the original on and off to see a before and after, which is super helpful. Now let's try a couple more. Let's try red tint overlay. It's kind of vague, but we're getting some really cool effects. I do like that. Let's try one more. Let's try Kodak Gold 800 film look. This is an actual type of film, and I think we are pretty close if we compare it to the real film stock. Now the coolest part of this entire process, to me at least, is the fact that we can export the LUT from our AI generated color grade, or we can export the clip by itself with the color grade on it. And then we can open up Premiere Pro and we can simply add that LUT like we would any other LUT to our footage. And it's that simple. So we select our LUT, hit okay, and we literally have the color grade that we just made up via text. So this is unreal game changer. If you've been coloring for a while, you know that this is monumental. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.